What in life is your fault? And what is your responsibility? What's the difference? We're going to talk about that today. Welcome back. I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to the Orange Office in Grants Pass, Oregon. Today we are going to discuss fault versus responsibility. The only other person I've ever heard discuss it in these terms is a great philosopher, perhaps you've heard of him, Will Smith. Uh, otherwise known as the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, he he discussed it on one of his uh, I don't know Facebook posts or something of that sort, and he's the only other person I've ever heard use it in these terms: fault versus responsibility. I think a lot of people get messed up because they get caught up with the the meaning behind these two words. So I'm going to define them as best as possible in terms of how we use them modern day. But first. The real question is whether you're ready to take responsibility for your business growth or not. See the, see the little tie in there? Go to dreambizchat.com, especially if you are a business owner or an executive in the self-reliance field. You're going to want to go to dreambizchat.com and watch the video, fill out the application, and you can get a free business chat with me to help you come up with the proper game plan to build your dream business in the next six months or less. Back to the issue, fault versus responsibility. Fault, I think we get confused between these two ideas way too often. Fault is really comes down to blame and this blame game that we get caught up in. And we want to say, well, it, is, it, it wasn't my fault. It was your fault. It, 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 and we get all caught up with fault, and fault doesn't really matter that much. It matters only in origin. In other words, where did the problem start? And if you're following along with our deep thoughts from the last couple days, I honestly believe that most of the problems that we have didn't start with us. The way you think is passed down from the generations, from your parents, or lack of parents, you learned via society, via your education, via the people you considered mentors, you learned a thought pattern. Whether you knew you were learning it or not, you learned a way of thinking, a way of reacting with your emotions, and it's all based on the people and things that you were around all your life, which you didn't have much of a choice in. It isn't that much your fault that you are the way you are, that you think the way you think. Many of the problems, if not most of the problems, if not all the problems you have, aren't your fault. Now, before you get too caught up with that concept, I want to bring in the other end of it. It is your responsibility. It's your responsibility to deal with everything that's been hoisted on you. Now, that you could say, well, that's not fair. And that's all fine and good. We could talk about fairness another time. But the fact of the matter is, it, if it isn't someone else's responsibility, it is, it is yours. Legally, it's your responsibility. Morally, it's your responsibility. There's, there's something about self-reliance that brings everything back to you being the one responsible, regardless of what happened to you, regardless of all the abuses you've gone through, the uh, horrors that you've seen in life, it, everything that's happened to you is your responsibility now to deal with it. It's your responsibility to deal with this mess that's been handed off to you. That's life. It really is. It's a mess for most of us. Okay. Even in the best case scenario, best case situations, best parents, best town that you grew up in, everything was great. You're still dealing with the mess that is the imperfect life, the imperfect world that we live in. So where do you go from here? Realizing that it's not your fault. You can quit playing the blame game and quit saying, well, it was my parents' fault. Well, it wasn't their fault either because it was their parents' fault and their parents' fault and their parents' fault. You can, we can play the blame game over and over and over again talking about whose fault it is. In reality, it's our responsibility to deal with whatever we've got on top of us. And in the same sense, it's the other person's responsibility to take care of their thing. Now, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't try and help people, that you shouldn't try, but the best way of helping people, 
I honestly believe because I've seen it over and over again, the best way is to teach a man to fish versus fish for him. You fish for him to keep him surviving if necessary, to keep him from starving. But in the long run, you gotta teach them how to fish themselves. The more we can teach people how to become self-reliant, how to depend more on themselves, the better people they'll become and the more they'll be able to help other people to be that way also. And in the long run, even though we're responsible for ourselves, we can provide abundance to the rest of everybody else, the extras that we end up getting because you never just have just enough for yourself. The better and better you get at something, the more you end up with abundance, the more you end up with more than enough than you'll ever need. And you're always able to give that off to somebody else. And that's a great thing, but it's important that you're responsible for yourself, you're responsible for your family, for your children, grandchildren, what have you. Take that responsibility. Don't worry about the fault. Quit playing the blame game. Take the responsibility. Realize that it may not be your fault. Here's a, another scenario. Somebody comes, takes their car, crashes it into the side of your house. Okay, whose fault was it? Well, it was the person that crashed into the side of your house. Now they could say, well, I was trying to avoid this situation over here, so it's their fault. And the fault, the blame game can go on and on and on and on, right? But really, it wasn't your fault that they crashed into the side of your house. But whose responsibility is it to fix it? Well, that person, even if they were drunk or whatever else, they may have to pay some form of restitution, but they're not gonna sit there and fix your house. The police aren't gonna come out and fix your house. It's your responsibility to fix your house. It wasn't your fault at all, it had nothing to do with you. But you're the one left having to fix the house. Everything in life is constantly happening to us. But it's our responsibility to take, take care of it from there. If you agree with me, go over to brianjpombo.com, check out some of my other videos there. You go into the media section and check that out. And if you are a business owner or an executive in the self-reliance field, like I said, dreambizchat.com is where you wanna go. Because I'd love to talk with you I'm not looking to sell you anything straight off the bat. I'd like to find out more about you and your business and what you're looking to achieve. If there's a way we can work together in the long run, that'd be great. But really, I'd like to find out more about you and your business. So, so go fill out the application and we'll see if we can get together. Tomorrow, we are going to be looking into some tactics, some specific tactics used on YouTube. And I'm going to show you a friend of mine, how I was able to take some of the things that he has done and been successful with on YouTube and applied it back into my business. I'll show you how you can apply it to yours. We'll see you tomorrow.